everybody, thanks so much for joining me for another Daily Shave. It's good to be back with you. Today I am using Fine Aquamarine. This is a collaboration exclusive with Fine Accoutrements and I'll be talking more about that along with the scent soon. Um, I'll be using my favorite razor, the Paradigm Single Edge Titanium uh, razor. Uh, it just gives me a no thinking type of shave and it's never uh, never has any dramas, no nicks or cuts. Just really, really like that razor. For my brush, I'm using an already loaded uh, Paladin uh, Samurai, um, 28 millimeters. So let me go ahead and wet my face and uh, we'll get started. So, uh, Fine Accoutrements is one of the funnest brands, not just in wet shaving, but that I know of. Um, I love their look. You can definitely tell if it's a fine product or not. They have classy aftershave jars, classic looking products, pucks. Also, you can get a tub and a, you can get a puck and a plastic tub. The shaving soap is a triple milled tallow shaving soap. And it is made overseas, and um, I really do enjoy this. Um, this is kind of this has the same ingredients as tobacco, and I would say it definitely performs very uh, similar. Aquamarine, which is a collaboration with West Coast Shading, is uh, going to release March first, which is uh, one week from today. And man, I am super happy with this. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. Um, before I started, uh, before I started uh, kind of really getting into a lot of artisans, I've always had my eye on fine. They just made aftershaves when I started, but then they branched out to shaving soaps, razors, shaving brushes, and they have just been really, really doing a great job. Aquamarine, let's talk about the scent. Um, it's more than just an aquatic citrus. Um, I have the notes written down right here. Um, there's lemon, sweet orange, rosemary, algae, oak moss, driftwood, amber, and musk. So if you were to first smell it, maybe you're just gonna smell some aquatic and some citrus. But there is a really nice uh, depthness to it. There's some richness to it. You can pick out the, the warm notes from the driftwood and the amber and the musk. You can also get these, uh, these aquatic tones, um, but you also get citrus. Um, I have been using this aftershave and soap for the past three days. And uh, it is, um, there's so much more than when you initially smell it, the dry down. Um, really kind of opens up with a uh, kind of uh, light warmness, but overall you get an aquatic citrus um, feel. Uh, this is a great everyday scent here in Southern California, but it is a great just everyday scent in general. All right, so uh, lather is pretty great. As you can tell, I added water to it. Um, Fine has no problems not only whipping up a lather, but this thing is slick as well. First pass. And of course there's residual slickness. Now in my bathroom, um, you can definitely smell the soap. I do tend to, uh, I do tend to bloom it. So right now my bathroom smells like it. I would definitely qualify. I would put this in the whole fresh and clean type scent. It's fresh. It's clean. It's aquatic. It has some green notes in it. This isn't a dupe. This doesn't smell like any. Um, cologne that's out there. So it just doesn't smell like an Aqua de Geo or anything. It 
but with the fine um, aftershaves. Uh, I do get longevity on all the fine aftershaves. I have uh, clean vetiver, or fresh vetiver, Italian citrus, American blend, platinum, this one. Um, and I get more than five, six hour usages out of them. I know for me, when I think an aftershave kind of goes away, it's really just my nose just not picking it up anymore because it's kind of used to it. Okay, pass one, done. Um, a few years ago, uh, West Coast Shaving did an interview with uh, Todd Cerami from Fine. He is Mr. Fine himself. And uh, that actually is going to be re-uploaded on Thursday. But they talked about um, would there be any future uh, releases. And they had mentioned that uh, maybe for like a limited uh, run or something, they would do uh, maybe another popular scent. And uh, I'm really, really happy that uh, that this scent came to... Uh, came to be from Fine and West Coast Shaving. Um, yeah, I think Fine um, does the best job when it comes to packaging, um, from the boxes and the presentation to the soap puck, having the face uh, embossed onto the uh, so puck and the really nice looking aftershave bottles they just do a really really great job and i know that uh we're so uh just happy that uh we were able to uh, work with fine to make this uh collaboration happen so some of the questions we've been getting on the the collaboration is first and foremost what does it smell like I have uh, been carrying this soap puck with me, just like any normal shaving person. They just carry the shaving soap with them. And I've asked various people, um, what do you uh, get when you smell this? Um, a good majority of them say it smells aquatic, citrus. Um, but uh, when you wear it, again, that's when the scents really... Um, develop into um, a really, really nice uh, uh, piece of um, fragrance. Does that make any sense? So, yeah. You know, I'm not the most eloquent person, um, but I do know that this scent smells really, really nice. So you definitely get the lemon, you get this, the citrus, the, the sweet orange, um, that rosemary does a really, really good job with um, elevating the fragrance. And the oak moss and the driftwood and the amber and the musk um, really, really do a good job with um, making this uh, fit in the whole uh, fine brand, fine lineup. So although it's not a um, a dupe. This is uh, something that uh, fits right in, but also stands out as well. Okay. And uh, we'll see where we're at. Um. Yeah, I think we'll go one more pass and uh, we'll call it a day. Oh, so uh, I'm using a badger brush. Um, man, I have, uh, although I still love my synthetics and I think synthetics are the way to go, um, I've gotten a lot better with badgers. And nowadays you can find, um, you can find a, uh, reasonably priced badgers that have amazing performance like the heritage the ones in the heritage uh, <clears throat> heritage
Heritage Collection shaving brushes. Those knots are dense. I love the fan shape uh, more than the bulb shape. And they're very, very jelly. And I love gel on my brushes. So this time I'm gonna go inwards. This is the razor that can get me smooth right here in my trouble area with no problem. So I never have to uh, do a fourth, fifth or sixth pass with this one. way towards my Adam's apple on this pass. And again, the reason I prefer single edge razors versus DEs is the single edge razor gives me the closeness of a straight razor, a shave, but it allows me to get those areas like here or here that normally would be really, really tough with a uh, with the straight razor. We're good. So for the soap scent strength, when you open it up, it's about a five or a six out of a 10. You definitely smell it. When you open up the aftershave, same thing. You definitely smell it. Um, right now, just shaving my face, um, you, you still smell it. Um, I'll tell you that I had the shaving soap before I had the aftershave. And just shaving with the shaving soap, I was able to smell that fragrance for uh, a good part into the day. So um, if uh, scent strength is something that you must have when you uh, pick up a product, this is definitely going to have it. And now uh, for the matching aftershave. Again, this is the, um, this, uh, they kind of have this like round at the top bottle, square bottom. Um, they were, they, they're kind of the ones that changed the aftershave bottle game. They were the first ones to go to a flask, then everybody changed over to a flask. Then they decided to go into a custom fine bottle that, uh, just having this on your, uh, uh, scene counter in your medicine cabinet, this thing looks, uh, it looks fancy. So I gotta give it up for them. Uh, this aftershave has a built-in flow restrictor. So you probably can't tell because focus, but yeah, focusing. So I'm going to put some on my hand. And this does a really good job with uh, restricting the amount of aftershave. So again, a no-nonsense shave smells fantastic. Uh, getting the citrus off, off the the initial smell, then you pick up like the driftwood, the algae, the oak moss, and then like uh, the musk is just uh, kind of weaves everything together. Um, this is probably one of my uh, favorite scents. Uh, one of my favorite scents because one, I could wear it every day in Southern California, which is very important to me. And if you have like a warm type scent, you really can't wear it that much in Southern California. Um, so you can wear it in Southern California every day, but also it's more than just um, an aquatic. It's more than just fresh and clean, but it kind of, um, kind of a step above that. So I really appreciate that. So um, yeah, that's my shave. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for uh, today's new shave. Um, I'll be making videos again. I have Hamami, uh, some of the holy cow scents coming up soon, hopefully in the next few weeks. If there's anything you would like to see reviewed on The Daily Shave, please let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. Missed you guys. Go get him, tiger.